Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Saturday, January the 31st. It's the third week after the Epiphany, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 55, and Isaiah chapter 51, verse 1 through 8. And please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts, to the tune of Old 100. All people round the earth rejoice to God most high our sovereign King. Serve God with cheerful heart and voice with all your tongues God's glory Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, give ear to my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my plea. Alleluia. Psalm 55, and please recite it together with me. Alleluia, give ear to my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my plea. Attend to me while I complain. Hear me and answer me. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me, and in anger they hate me. My heart is sore within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling have come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then I would fly away and be at rest that I would wander afar and remain in the wilderness. I would hasten my escape from the raging winds and the storm. Destroy them, O God, and confuse their speech, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night the watchmen go about its walls, but violence and sorrow are in her midst. Wickedness is everywhere in the city. Her streets are never free of deceit and corruption. For it was not an enemy that reproached me. If it had been, then I could have borne it. Neither was it someone that hated me and boasted of himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. But it was you, my intimate friend, my guide and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together. We walked together in the house of God. Let death seize them. And let them go down quickly into hell, for wickedness is among them and in their dwellings. As for me, I will call upon you, my God, and you will save me. Evening, morning, and noon, I pray and cry aloud, and you shall hear my voice. You have delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were too many against me. You, O God, enthroned of old, shall hear and afflict them, for they never change and they do not fear you. My companion raised his hand against me and has broken our pact. With words smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden upon the Most High, and God shall sustain you. God will never let the righteous stumble. For you, O God, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. The bloodthirsty and deceitful shall not live out half their days, and I will trust in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give ear to my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my plea. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 51, beginning at verse 1. Listen to me, you that pursue righteousness, you that seek the Most High. Look to the rock from which you were hewn and to the quarry from which you were dug. 
Look to Abraham, your father, and to Sarah, who bore you. For he was but one when I called him, but I blessed him and made him many. For the Most High will comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places and will make her wilderness like Eden, her desert like the garden of the Most High. Joy and gladness will be found in her, thanksgiving and the voice of song. Listen to me, my people, and give heed to me, my nation, for a teaching will go out for me, and my justice for a light to the peoples. I will bring near my deliverance swiftly. My salvation has gone out, and my arms will rule the peoples. The coastlands wait for me, and for my arm they hope. Lift up your eyes to the heavens, and look at the earth beneath. For the heavens will vanish like smoke, the earth will wear out like a garment, and those who live on it will die like gnats. But my salvation will be forever, and my deliverance will never be ended. Listen to me, you who know righteousness, you people who have my teaching in your hearts. Do not fear the reproach of others, and do not be dismayed when they revile you. For the moth will eat them up like a garment, and the worm will eat them like wool. But my deliverance will be forever, and my salvation to all generations. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers for the church and the world. And please respond, hear us, tender God for the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Bill and Joe, and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barak and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God, who has begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray, hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God Most High, accept our burdens, and let us never stumble. Be our peace, and still our trembling hearts, and sustain us always as we place our trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.